Looking at ferocious dinosaur predators like T. rex, it's not hard to imagine how they found enough food to thrive. But some of the biggest dinosaurs to have ever lived were herbivores, eating only grass and leaves. Just how much salad would it take to fill up a stomach the size of a sauropods? We're not lucky enough to have any fossils of a typical dinosaur buffet, so scientists have to turn to some other sources of evidence to find out about their diets. A dinosaur's teeth and fossilised poo can give an idea of the kinds of food they preferred and how they ate it. And comparison with similar surviving animals can give us a clue about how their digestive systems worked. For example, Elephants are the largest living vegetarians on land today. They typically eat about 100 kilograms of food every day and need to spend 80% of their time foraging to find enough vegetation. Sauropods could be 10 times the mass of an average elephant and would have needed to eat at least 100,000 calories every single day. And since leafy vegetables are notoriously low-cal, they'd need a lot of them, about 450 kilograms daily to be exact. If they chow down on lettuces, they'd need more than 900 whole heads every single day. But lettuces weren't around at the same time as the dinosaurs. And fossil dung reveals that the biggest of them couldn't afford to be picky eaters. Browsing a wide range of primitive conifers, cycads, ferns, horsetails, and even early grasses. Most sauropods' mouths weren't made for chewing either, suggesting they simply cropped the leaves and swallowed them straight down, leaving more time for more eating and more eating, like a constant leafy conveyor getting in as much as possible, as quickly as possible. While such massive consumption may sound unsustainable, dinosaur grazing actually probably helped plant growth. Plus, their huge appetite gave rise to huge piles of dung. More poo means more plants, thanks to the nutritious nitrogen and phosphorus it contains. More plants means more foods, which means more poo, and so the cycle goes on. But all that food needs specialist machinery to process it, and the giant's bodies had to be especially adapted for dealing with such vast quantities of tough vegetable matter. Long necks were the ultimate lazy invention, meaning sauropods could reach a huge amount of foliage without even taking a step. And certain big herbivores like Diplodocus could get access to even more vegetation by rearing up and standing on their hind legs, using their tail to balance like a tripod while they browsed. Teeth were constantly being used, so constantly needed replacing. The sauropod Nigesaurus is thought to have replaced each of its piano key-like teeth every two weeks. But since they weren't chewing, the breaking down of fibrous leaves and twigs was probably helped along by gastroliths, small pebbles the dinos swallowed to help digestion. Digestion could take a long time, and many herbivorous dinosaurs had vast stomachs like fermentation chambers, where food could sit for many days. Unfortunately, one inevitable byproduct of fermentation is the production of gas. <laughs> Today, cows are the biggest culprits, but it's thought that giant sauropods could have been farting constantly, producing enough gas to fill nearly 500 party balloons every day. That is some party. If you enjoyed this delicious dinosaur video, be sure to check out our other big dino questions. And don't forget to like and subscribe to Earth Unplugged.